we got this nice shady place. Yeah, this would be like a great tree to like sit under and have a picnic. Yeah. But the problem is uh, the goats that were underneath, we had a big tree over there. There you see. And the goats were either eating the berries or the leaves, and the goats just kept dying. Oh no. <laughs> so it killed a bunch of our goats. Okay. So we had to cut down the original tree that you know, started all this. So this is a fruit that is delicious, but also poisonous. Yeah. So you can chew it. But these are called china berries. China berries. Are they something that people actually uh, eat? Yeah, I've heard of people making pies and other things out of them, not realizing that they're poisonous. Okay. <laughs> but is there a way that you can prepare them where you can eat it? You know, I'm not. I'm not going to recommend anyone to eat this. <laughs> okay. okay. Viewer, you got it recorded. Viewer, viewers at home, do not do what we are about to do. This is uh, for educational purposes only. This man is putting poison in his mouth. But like, it's like the seeds that are poison, is it? Um, I think the whole thing. Hmm. I think the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. So it's just pure poison that we're eating. So you can chew on it. It's very dry. Yeah. Well, they'd usually be a bit wetter and softer, but I think these are from like last year. It's a big seed in it. Yep. Yeah. It tastes good, and then it has this weird aftertaste. It's kind of bitter, but it tastes like um, I like a GGB. I was just gonna say that. Yep. Like a jujube. Maybe a little like a crab apple. But it does have a lot of, lot of uh, bitterness to it. So if I, if I were to come across this and put it in my mouth, I would just assume it was poison. It's, uh, I it's believe right. it, has contain, it contains high levels of cyanide. Great, we get another one. <laughs> Doesn't taste bad though. The, after, the aftertaste is kind of gross. And birds are able to eat it. Birds can eat it? Yeah. Yeah, and you can see like it's mostly just skin with like a very large seed in there. So there's not a whole lot going on. It's got white pulpy flesh, but it's, it's stuck to the seed. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's an interesting one. I wonder if there's some way you can actually prepare this where it's not going to kill you. So yeah, also but, public people don't eat this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't want to eat this thing. But. The flavor isn't bad. If it weren't for the bitterness, I would say this tastes kind of like uh, like a jujube. Yeah, it's a uh, Melia is the genus. Okay. Does it have? Are all the species in that genus poison? Um, my understanding is that they are. Okay. But yeah. See, that's peeled. That white stuff is the the pulp. Just a little bit of it. You see, it's it's kind of dry here, but kind of pasty. Mmm. I tried some similar things that are edible that are very similar. Yeah. Yeah. So there's related uh, cousins to that fruit. Yeah. But this one, don't eat it. Yeah. But Tastes did. okay, but don't eat it. Alright, we've got uh, Thistilis, like a Cape Gooseberry kind of fruit. These ones are a little bit smaller than the ones that I've had in the past. But, uh, hey, you want to try yeah. that one? Sure. It's got like a nice yellow color to it. It's not uh, orange like some of them. It looks more like the uh, pineapple um, ground cherries that I've had in the past. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. It's just good. Yeah? <laughs> nope. Like the ones you've had in the past. Yeah, this one, not quite as sweet. There we go. Different than the ones I've had. And so maybe a little bit more tart. It's got like um I don't know, a unique flavor onto it that, that's different than what I've had before. These taste a little bit like like tomato a little bit usually. This I'm not picking so much of the tomato taste up, but it still has like a similar kind of uh, vegetable-ish kind of flavor, like savory kind of flavor to it, but different than the ones I've had. I had one called the, the pineapple ground cherry, which tasted like pineapples. These do not taste like that. 
They don't taste like pineapple. They don't really taste like tomato. But they have like a, like an interesting, unique flavor to it. It's kind of like a little bit bitter maybe. A little bit sweet. A little bit sour. But, um, yeah, it's good. Okay, I only have one minute, so we have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell. I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. Go to the description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day, because Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with Fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involving science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should, be, there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.